You know, they always say that when you're on your deathbed, you'll certainly regret the fact that you didn't spend enough time with your family. You wish you could have spent more. That's nearly certainly true. I think everyone will regret that. Even people who say, they hate, I hate my parents, they especially will regret that. Um, but I think there's another regret that people will not have, okay? No one, when they get to their deathbed, will say, Oh, jeez, I really feel stupid for, like, standing up for my principles uh, so many times in my I could I could have really had some better opportunities if I made uh, concessions to things that I knew were wrong. Man, I, I could be richer. I could have, like, this cushier job. I could have blah, blah, blah. Like, no one in the world, it, like, at the end of their life is going to be like, Wow, I, I feel so happy that I cucked so hard. Uh, no one's going to feel like that, okay? If anything, the regrets you have are going to be, I knew that this thing was right, and I didn't want to take the risk of following through on it. That Those are the regrets you're going to have, all right? Now, I say this uh, because, um, you know, I, I get all these uh, emails and questions about this kind of stuff where it's like people, often people, let's say, just to give some examples, who are in work where they're, uh, they're writing software that they know isn't really right, or it's like monitoring people or doing something sort of evil, or they're working for some company or working for like some military that is doing things that are bad. Uh, or, you know, people, especially nowadays, people will be like, dude, my, my job, they want me to get the vaccine. how do I resist it? And, you know, my, my reaction to people in that situation is always like, you shouldn't even be in this position. Like you should have, you know, taken a stand way back when, uh, where it's easier to take a stand. That's one people, that, you know, one thing that people don't, I think, think about. Um, if you're in kind of an evil system, right? You know, so, so I worked in universities for a while, okay? They're very evil systems, okay? It's not just that they want you to do this and that and the other, but they, like, your subservience is something they are constantly extracting more from, okay? And that's how a lot of jobs are, especially nowadays. Everything, like, you know, NGOs, universities, big corporations, they're all like, all like giant cults. And they're constantly doing absurd things and making you do absurd things um, to, to kind of make sure that you are loyal to them, right? That's what a lot of this kind of HR stuff is. Um, that's why they have all these, you know, vaccine mandates. It's not just about the vaccine or anything like that. But like in general, they want you, they want to tell you to jump and they want you to ask how high, okay? Now, when you're in that system, it is very convenient, okay? If you're getting paid, uh, you know, $100,000 a year to do some nominal work or, oh, maybe some company paid, you know, even more than that, to, you know, to you're working somewhere in China or somewhere in Singapore. I don't know. Like you got this like nice sounding job with all these benefits. The thing about it is that they are only going to ask more from you. OK, like the way I look at things, this is always how I've looked at things since, even since I was a kid. I think I mentioned this in a, a video a little bit before. But, you know, I've always thought uh, of life as sort of minimizing um like minimizing your liabilities, okay? And a lot of times when you're getting rich, when you're ensconced in some kind of system, now I'm not against being rich. I'm not one of these like being poor is like somehow noble or something stupid like that. Um, well, I mean, there, there, you could make a case for that, but uh, I'm absolutely not one of those people. But if you're like in the kind of normie I don't, a corporate structure or like the bureaucracy or the cathedral or something like that, um, like you're always the the richer you are the more enslaved you are the more tethered you are to this particular job and this particular thing you've learned how to do and it might seem like oh i'm advancing in my career cuz i'm making more money i have bigger responsibilities but really you're you're learning how to do something that is very much tied into where you are and you don't necessarily know other things okay um, you know, it's especially on my channel when I talk about technology stuff, like let's say systems administration, which I talk a lot about. Okay. You know, how do you maintain a Linux server and do this and that and a whole bunch of stuff on it? Um, you know, one weird thing, and I've talked about this is a lot of people, if they see something they don't know how to do, they will automatically just be like, Oh, don't oh, just let's shoot that down because like, I don't want to feel like I don't know how to do something, especially if it's basic. You know what I mean? And I've always been the kind of guy you have to be, you have to be flexible and terms of what you know you know you, you have to be flexible in what you're learning learn willing to learn and one of the big things that like a, a normie job like a, a big job like that where you get a lot of money and you have big responsibilities and very specific specialization is that you that absorbs so much of your time that you might think of yourself as knowing a lot about you know technology in general um, but th there are a lot of really basic things that you go without and you can't really function 
uh, outside. Like you are a piece that has been chiseled precisely for the jigsaw puzzle that you've been placed in and you don't really fit anywhere else. So that, that's the big problem. So, you know, my, my view on things is, uh, again, I'm not against making money or anything like that. You should absolutely make lots of money. Um, however, uh, it's best to do that in an independent fashion. Okay. Like if you make, um, you know, if you make $20,000 a year on your own, like internet presence or, or doing stuff like you, writing your own software, that is in that $20,000 is infinitely more ba valuable than $200,000. Uh, you know, if you're waging for some kind of company. Okay. Because that $20,000 isn't tethered to anything else. It's not like, Oh, I have to, I have to, you know, follow through on this or something like that. Now, as, as I said, you're never going to regret, um, you're never going to regret like not, or, you know, following your principles. And, uh, you know, I definitely see, you know, I made a bunch of sacrifices many times. Okay. The sun is right in my face. Okay. Let's, let's do this. Let's no. Okay. I'm trying to get behind a tree. Okay. There we go. Um, you know, I, my life is like full of, um, you know, sacrifice, sacrifice, that, that actually, actually sounds a little egocentrical, but, but what I mean is there've been many times in my life where I've basically left everything, uh, which sounds, you know, actually that sounds a little irresponsible. So we'll go with that. That that's more humble. Um, because, oh, well, I'm not, uh, you know, me being a professor, that is a life of like slavery. Okay. Especially nowadays, it's really like humiliating slavery. It's actually, I got a bunch of hilarious stories about that, but that's for another video. Um, um, but like, I, I always feel I, I've done videos on this before. It's important to be independent, but also most of the time when people email me about like questions like this, oh, my job wants me to do this. My job wants me to freaking take the vax or like, uh, bomb Middle Eastern people. I, I don't know. Like people email me as if it's my fault. They're not just like following their principles, you know, like that, that's the thing to me. That's just like, you already know what's right to do. I don't know if you want me to tell you. I think that's stupid. Like, I think the concept of, uh, uh, you know, self-help is self-refuting because it's mostly not people self-helping. It's people asking other people what to do. And it's just stupid because most of the time it's just people who are cowardly and don't want to follow their principles. Like, they don't want to do what they know is right. You know what I mean? They're too afraid to make those risks. Um, but that actually is why, you know, risk, you know, the thing is it does require risk taking. That's why, um, when things bad happen in your life, like when, you know, uh, things at work are bad, uh, there are all these pressures on you. You should always view that as a good thing because it's encouraging you to make risks with your life. It's encouraging you to say, oh, well, maybe I'll do this because, you know, do something else because it's totally stupid. Oh, my job wants me to get the freaking vax. Okay. Well, maybe this is a signal. I mean, if, if they m want you to get some freaking injection, it's only going to get worse. Like the things they're going to demand, they're already in requiring you to put something in your body. Okay. Uh, you have already lost bodily autonomy. So it's just a question of how many other things in the future that we can't even foresee. Like five years ago, no one expected this COVID-19 uh, meme of every happening. But imagine what's going to happen in five more years or 10 more years. What are they going to require from you? Uh, what kind of hilarious concessions, what kind of hilarious hoops do they want you to jump through? Like a freaking wagey dog. Like that, that's the thing that, I don't know. So anyway, yeah, that's the point of the video. I, I don't know. I talked about different things, but just like stand up for yourself. Like seriously, I'm not going to do it for you. Like I can't, that, that would be embarrassing anyway, if you had to have someone else. Anyway, that's it.